Hey there guys, this is Pharaoh2091, and welcome back to Let's Play Gone Home. Last time we left off, we checked out a good chunk of the basement, if not the, kind of the entirety of it. Now we're kind of like in a other portion of it, or going up to another section of the house. Or, uh, I don't know if it's considered as hidden. Kind of seems like it, but eh, regardless, we're checking things out here. Brettmobile. The, so this is kind of like Sam's like secret area, it seems like, really. Costumes, skeletons, and devils, cheerleaders from Smells Like... Smells Like Teen Spirit video? Oh, cheerleaders from the, the Smells Like Teen Spirit... Oh, uh -huh. Nirvana! <laughs> One girl just as Jackie Kennedy. What's going on there? The Psycho House Girl. The cool stuff about being a Psycho House Girl. Cool thing number one, everybody in the hall thinking you don't know they're looking at you and whispering as you walk past because I guess they haven't heard a peripheral uh, hearing, I guess. Um... That's a lie to mom and dad situation, but it was so worth it. The girls on stage were just so loud and real and awesome, and everybody was moving together like one huge tide of sound. <laughs> she really enjoyed herself, and good for her. Um, another tape? So that means we're probably going to uh, probably gonna find another cassette here somewhere. Markers and everything. A letter. Okay, Goodfellas Senior High School. Sheldon, blah, 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 blah. So this is just to us, or to Sam. Dear Miss Greenbrier, I appreciate the time and effort you put into writing your letter. It showed initiative and as well was well written, but it has not changed my mind this matter. While I understand that Mr. Soto is a friend of yours, the fact of the matter is that she d defaced school property with profanity. The fact that she allegedly defaced her own locker in retaliation for another student doing the same t to yours is, um, is uh, immaterial. Or immature? Or, no, it's going to be immaterial, whatever. As to your complaint there that no other student has been punished for your for their part in this incident, the fact is that no guilty party has come forward, and there has been no convincing evidence as to who might have defaced your locker. In other words, there is no one to punish. I would suggest letting the issue drop, as it will only bring more amount of attention to yourself, which I believe is what you can, which you can, is what you claim began this whole incident in the first place. Ugh, God, I don't really. I don't think it's a way you're supposed to handle stuff like that, really. I don't get Lonnie sometimes. Like, her band, and our zine, and her hair, and everything are all anti-authority. But I watch her in JROTC, and she's doing drills in perfect formation. Following orders, no question. And there's all this stuff in the news about don't ask, don't tell. Like, she's going to join the army and then have to... lie? About who she is? She said, they don't need to know what they don't need to know. Like, it was no big deal. This from the girl who trashed her locker to, like, defend my honor. I've learned when to stop arguing, though. I don't think Lonnie even gets Lonnie sometimes. You know, that's something I, not, I didn't really even think about. The whole thing about the army and don't ask, don't tell. <sighs> hmm. Okay. Don't see anything here. Let's check back here. Wait. This is examine zine. <laughs> Girl justice now. Kicking against... Oh, well, kicking against uh, patriarchy. The great good fellow ride of 95. Uh, this one's for you, Grossman. She's tougher, a wild mustang. No female's gonna tell me good. <laughs> Captain A, Rev One, Revolution Girl. Had heard enough? Had enough? Ready to join a revolution and take a stand against Grossman and the, the patriarchy? Yeah. This is pretty cool. Hmm. They even have a peel box and everything. <laughs> okay. So uh, sorry if there's a cut there or anything. Had a had an interruption. So, a uh, cool little, uh, comic that they made. <laughs> um, what else is there? We got, uh, Heavens of Betsy, Bratmobile, X-Ray Cafe. So, you know, I just totally thought of something. Like, the band that we've been listening to on Girl Scout, whatever, is that Lonnie's band? I, I, I simply thought, I, I thought that was, like, a well, something well-known, I thought. I'm mistaken. Uh, had enough, so. Heard enough. It's kind of cool, they. 
brainstorming. I guess it's, it, it, that's what it looks like. It really does. Um. Oh, oh wait. There's pills and stuff down here. Ah, uh, see? Sometimes you just gotta look. So this is, uh, Heaven's Betsy Terrorist. Oh, no. Listen for a teeny bit, I'm just gonna turn off right away. Oh, so they kind of, like, use this as a outline. It just, it's some, I don't know how to describe it, it sounds very amateurish. I mean, I mean, I know everybody starts somewhere, it's just, ah, uh, it's not for me. I don't know why I keep, why do I keep defending myself against it? Yeah, that's just how it is, for me, anyway. Okay, regardless, let's uh, see where this panel leads us. Wow, okay, we need to open some lights here. Or turn on some lights, not open lights. Uh... Nice. Wow. Okay, hold on. Let's take a look here. Okay. Okay, this is what we tried going to before. I... Where's the light switch here? Okay, hold on. And I'm assuming... Wait, where's the... Door to. Hold on. <laughs> Don't think I was, uh. It's supposed to be a double door somewhere, right? I thought it was supposed to be to the right. Unless I'm mistaken about something else. Hold on, okay, what? Hmm. So, we just got out of here and then we turned to the right. So, is this the door? Oh, why I thought why did I thought it was why did I think it was a double door? Huh, okay, well, here we are. So now we just uh open it from the other side. So that's kinda cool. So we got a lot of exploration to do on this side. And I know there's like more uh to the guest room. Actually, you know what? Let's go to the guest room, because that's in a whole other whole other area we haven't even seen yet. Or like not actually that we have seen, but I want to be able to, you know, Clear things out, if that makes any type of sense. Uh, let's hope one of the light, bulb, light bulbs don't go out. Thought I heard something there. Is that seriously a freaking lever? Wow. That's insane. That's actually really cool. There's something here, though. So, Ma Masson's Pharmacy... Oh, 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 um, we had that combination, right? That's 1963. Okay, I wonder if that's, I, I hope that's what it is. I totally forgot about that, that locker just about right, uh, just now. Oh, I gotta go down the creepy thing here real quick. Really wish there was another, um, I was gonna say, like, another light source, but nah, screw it. Okay, so 1963, right? I'm pretty sure that's what it said. If not, that means I gotta go back and everything. 1963. Nice. So what do you have in here, great uncle? We got a couple bottles of olive of clove. Um. Okay. Put that here and apply another bottle of it. No. Oh, it's hydrogen peroxide. It's good for a variety of stuff. Okay, so once again, what was I doing? So many interruptions here. Uh, what is this? Aquatil? Hmm. Well then, okay. What else do we... Oh, she's using the wrong button here. Another box of... What is it? Poison solution of morphine tartrate. Wow. Maybe habit forming, yes! Yes, this is like a freaking syringe of morphine? I can definitely understand why you would want to keep this locked up. Well, even nowadays, shoot. 
Um, is there anything here? I mean, re regarding the use of it or anything on it besides just where it was manufactured. Uh, all right, well, there's that. What else we got? I know I see like that letter. Actually, let's read it. Oops. Oscar Masson, or the return to sender. Mary Greenbrier. Oh, okay. Olympia, Washington. Oh, okay. I'm going to see if I can write this. Dear sister, I write what shall be my last appeal to go unanswered one way or another. I feel a prisoner, or as on an island, with no jailer, no human soul for... What? Commun I want to say communication only, for a commune only. My one mind examining itself endlessly, endlessly searching for relief. In the years uh, since transgression, I have sought no absolution, only for forgiveness. Uh, and in good faith, I have removed myself from all temptation, sacrificed to prove my commitment, however I can imagine. Uh, since Mother's uh, passing, I have yearned for nothing more than the acknowledgement of my own kin to be treated as a human again. To breathe the air of human spirit once more. By grace over... Wait. By grace what? Even a watch... Even a wretch like me could be saved. But I do not expect it. If no response is received, I shall be henceforth accept my sentence and one day simply cease to be. With a brother's love always, Oscar Mason. Mason. Holy crap, I, this guy... Um, it seemed like he had a lot of personal demons. Like, a lot. And here are some old-timey syringes! To go along with the, um, the morphine there. So there's that. I'm just gonna go ahead and keep throwing them out there, because, you know, why the hell not? And another bottle. Oh, this is actually Byleron. Okay. And I think that's it. So the main, the, I guess the main thing here is this letter here, written, actually... Oh, well, no. I was going to say, can we read the back of it, but I guess not. Um, hmm. Okay. Um, and we, we can assume Mary Greenbrier was our grandmother. I'm assuming she married into... Yeah, yeah I think that's it. I would think so, anyway. So I guess uh, Richard here, I guess, was Oscar's brother-in-law, and I guess he's really going to like him. Unless that was Terrence who did that, because that letter we saw right here. Okay, um, interesting regardless. I mean, it just, you kind of feel bad for, uh, what's his name there? For Oscar, because it seems like he really was going through a lot of crap, a lot of hell, within his own mind. <sighs> Alrighty, well, was Light doing that before? I honestly don't know. Let's see what else we have here. Oh, I see a letter. Or a slip. Salon Josephine for Jan. Okay, she, she's, getting, she's getting all dolled up. $60 for a perm? <laughs> Come on, Jan. Um, so she's all getting all prettied up, I guess, for uh, Rick. I can only assume, anyway. Ooh, more notes. These folders, dear God. I'm actually gonna read this real quick. Daniel says he's coming over to get his game back. Called him. <laughs> he came back because he said, like, he's like, what the hell's wrong with you? Inside edition, 60 minutes. Investigative team visits camp whose specialists help adolescents overcome deviant behavior and homosexuality. Oh. Maybe the parents did know about Lonnie and Sam. Katie, you know how mom and dad are. Not exactly super open-minded about things. It feels like every minute I don't spend with Lonnie, I spend worrying about them finding out about us. And what would happen if they did? You know dad's joke about the nunnery that he'd tell whenever you brought boys around the old house? I wonder where he'd want to send me. I mean, I... Hmm. 
it would still be it would be hard for I guess any family. It's like you you, you I guess you aren't expecting for your son or daughter to, you know. I guess to be gay, and it's like oh, you know, how do you go about it? You know, God knows what the hell I would even do in that position. You know, if I was a parent, it's like uh, well, because I already I already mentioned my stance before. It's like I'm, shoot, okay, I'm still gonna accept you. What's that? Froth. Uh, okay. What else we got? So we got a note. Hey Lonnie, sorry my mom was such a bitch last night. Oh boy, she's hardly ever around since her force is like an hour away. And then when she's home, she takes it out on you, like because you're a because you're not a member of the family. She knows you won't call her on it. And I'm sorry. Haha, <laughs> it's okay. I know she's just jealous of our cool and free willing, free willing, or free wheeling lifestyles. I feel sorry for you. I'm lucky my mom lives in Florida. You have to have a you have to have a mom every day. Sorry, I didn't mean to bring up the mom thing like that. I know I shouldn't complain. No, I'm being serious. My mom is like a, is a psycho Christian, and her new husband Don is a complete tool. Living in Florida with, with her is uh with him is her eternal punishment in my mind. So you wouldn't rather live with your mom in Florida? N that answers it. <laughs> no, hell no, God no. Okay, in in Spanish, in Espanol. I never took Spanish, if you guys can't tell. I took French. Why? The main reasons are the, the many of the um, Spanish teachers in my high school were terrible. So, I wasn't about to subject myself to that. Offer a promotion. Oh, so this is, uh, I guess, to our mother. Dear head conservation, cons conservationist Greenbrier, due to your exemplary management of Flintlock prescribed burn operation last year and the services need for, uh, for experienced personnel to direct regional operations, we would like to offer you the position of Regional Conservation Management Director responsible for operations throughout northwestern Oregon. Your assistance would be sought to fill your previous position on site at the Fl Flintlock National Forest. Your new posting would be at the Regional Management Building located at 128 Bullhorn Road, which should be more convenient for your daily commute. Please respond as soon as possible regarding your decision. We very much look forward to your reply. Nice, nice going, Mom. Getting promoted, cool. Getting that money, making that making that dough, making bank. Holla holla, dollar dollar bill, y'all. All right, that's enough. That's enough. Stub. What was he? National ticket. Uh, Earth, Wind, and Fire. Wow. Okay. How much was the ticket? Twenty-five bucks. Not, not like it's not bad. Twenty, well, twenty-eight fifty. Um, I'm trying to think of the inflation back in the day. Like how much, how much would it be cost now? And uh, I guess it's still normal. I guess it depends, especially Earth, Wind, and Fire. They were huge. So let's put that back here. I don't know why it's just sticking out right there. Slide. To, ooh, another closet. Luggage, suitcases, everything. Like Good like that. A lid, which I'm can put it back right here. No, 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 no. You weren't put back like that. You were, uh, you know, just there. A note: This skull was the coolest thing I found in Mexico, and it was like three bucks. I love it. Merry Xmas, Merry Xmas, remembers you. P.S. Treasure, treasure it always. Oh, Lonnie. Oh, oh, and it's a Sam up there. Why the hell am I? Not, I thought it was a gibberish. Oh, wait a minute. So this skull, I think she's talking about this thing that was right here. Right? Yeah, this has to be it. She has like, what, three? Yeah, made, yeah, made in Mexico. Okay, cool. Cool. I thought it was something that um uh, we picked up, you know, as Katie. But I guess not. Awesome. I think that's all there really is to it, uh, to this room. I mean, there's a little closet. Okay. What time am I at? Oh, 20 minutes. Mm. Ah, freaking hell. Always makes a long episode, I guess. Mom's purse. Gotta have a lot of purses. Pamphlet. Manual for Forestry Research and Education. Uh, take care of force. Okay. Good thing I picked it up because it seems like there was a note underneath. 
Hi, Jan. I got two tickets to Earth, Wind, and Fire on Thursday, but my girlfriend says she doesn't want to go. Her taste in music rears its ugly head again. So that means me with an extra ticket. So I thought you might want to be inter you might be interested in it. Uh, more, more than what? More two than clearing, brushing. Of more fun, dear God. I'm having a hard time reading in this game. Apparently, more fun than clearing brush in a freezing rain, right, Rick? So, Rick, you were also in a relationship when you uh, apparently was uh, decided to go off her mom. Nice, nice. Oh, God. Hmm. God, that scared me right there. I thought it was a person, like a shadow. Hmm. Nothing but dinnerware and cloth? A little napkin? Well, you know, whatever. Really, that's it? Like, no little scrap of paper nothing? Okay. Ooh, another postcard. What did it say, actually? I know one of my postcards I sent. She's so excited about it. Oh, man. That looks so beautiful. Hi, Mom, Dad, and Sam. The Vatican is, we is weird. <laughs> As you can see, the Catholic Church still had a lot of money left over from the Middle Ages. I've gotten to see all the art, including the Sistine Chapel ceiling and the... The Sistine Chapel ceiling and the sculptures by Michelangelo, Donatello, and the rest of the Ninja Turtles. <laughs> Mom, we've been, we've had to, we had to come back here together. I would love to be here with someone who really appreciates the history behind everything. Also, Sam, they have various relics, as in pieces of important dead people, so you could probably come too. Next stop, Barcelona. Calm down, Dad. I won't get, I won't, I won't get gored by a bull. Probably. Love, Katie from St. Peter's Square. God, no butts in heaven. <laughs> Uh man, that does look. I really like the the, photo, the postcards in here because they're like so freaking vivid. It's insane. Wow. I think that's why I re I really would like to travel. I really would. I think I would love to do that. One day, one day. Another magazine. Okay, I think it's just the same. Another one of these cool folders. Why do I feel like I have one of these folders? Like, almost the same exact one. Sam, since you refuse to hear us out that this afternoon, your mother and I are putting this in writing so that you are, we are absolutely clear. You are grounded for the rest of the month for social, from social and telephone privileges and from using your car for anything except going to and to and from school. We understand what you're going through, but we can't allow you to continue with this kind of behavior at school. And clearly, once your privileges are reinstated, we can't allow you to have your bedroom door closed while Lonnie is at the house. This is the last word in the matter. Get back on course so this won't have to happen again. Wow, okay. And uh, another a slip here. Let's see, what did she do this time? Disrupting... Distributing inappropriate materials on class grounds. Phone call to students' parents. Out of school suspension. Jeez, for four days, really? I had an interesting talk with mom and dad tonight. When you were never gonna need to have. I mean, you've known, right? I've known. I've known since like Shira. Mom and dad didn't, I guess. They saw the zine and the stuff on the locker, and they were like, is there something we should know about you and Lonnie? And so here's the thing. I was prepared for them to be mad, or disappointed, or start crying, or something, but they were just in denial. You're too young to know what you want. You and Lonnie are just good friends. You just haven't met the right boy. It's a phase. That's what I didn't see coming. That they wouldn't even respect me enough to believe me. Well, joke's on them. Because they're in for one very long phase. <sighs> wow, okay. Like, once again... I'm at that point, it's like... I really don't think that's how the parents should definitely be handling it. But we, we, I guess we must assume that they're pretty, well, I mean, hmm, they're God-fearing people. You know, 
I'm, I believe at least some yeah, you know, the Catholic Christian, you know, at least Christian. So once again, the whole stance of homosexuality is bad, you know, stuff like that. So it's hard for them to, I guess, come to terms with it. So I guess being in denial, that's that. But like saying all that, I just. Oh, God, I don't know. It's one of those things like, what would you do put in that same situation, you know? Like, even I, like, I, I mentioned earlier in this video, like, I don't know, God knows what I would do. He's like, I would be accepting. But, like, the religious side of me will be like, ugh. Mm, you know, you, get, it's, you kind of get torn out, torn apart a little bit. But it's family. It's, it is, mm-mm-mm. Ah. Mm. Uh, I see a button, actually. Let me grab that. Oh, guess I wasn't close enough. The Jits? <laughs> Got some funny names here. Ah. <sighs> you know, and I feel like our family, they really don't have a say-so in this. So, like, or they really shouldn't be talking. Especially what our mother's doing. God knows what our father's doing anything, but... Yeah, uh, really no room to talk. None at all. What is this? Uncrumpled manuscript? The accidental warrior. Don't give up on this, honey. I mean... I, no, I'm... I mean, it's like, yeah, she's supportive, but then... Uh, oh, man, I really don't know. Okay, you know what? What time? Oh, God, yeah, I gotta call an episode. I've been kind of dawdling around for too long here. Um, next episode we'll go ahead and continue looking throughout the area a little bit more, and, uh, see what else we're gonna, we're gonna find. I mean, we got a couple more rooms to check out, and the only, I think the main, then the other main thing we have left to do is check the attic. Something tells me the attic's probably gonna be like the last area to check out, period. Um, and that's that. So, as usual, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for Let's Play Gone Home. I'll see you guys later.